Here's a poem from northern Greece, written for Laura, and in some sense found at Petralona in Halkidiki. The cave itself had wonders, not the least the man who was our guide, and who announced it was the oldest site of human life on earth, but the museum, one long room, its prize in one low case, the master of the house, or his skull rather, the likeness of his skull in plaster, they say some local villagers are also like. Homo Neanderthalus, long departed, but that cave was his home, this coast his ancient hunting ground, and all these bones the leavings of his dinners, or remains of fellow dwellers in the many-chambered cave. Thigh bone of a panther, saber-toothed tiger's tooth, vertebrae from the giraffe reconstructed to the life outside the entrance. Massive bones of mastodon, ibex bones still looking fleet, laid down with bones of wolves. Skull of an ancient servant with perplexed antlers, and of a young ancestral doe. Cave bear's jaw, and separate case, marked hominids. Caveman's femur and forearm. Just out of reach, a carapace. Terrine, perhaps, for paleo turtle soup? Atop a kind of pedestal, there stands the protoglypton of Macedonia, dating from the Middle Pleistocene. The oldest attempt of man to create art, self-portrait? or the head of a seal. His artifacts are more impressive. Dippers, scrapers, spatulas, needles, cleavers, knives, flints for fire, and the ashes of the oldest man-made fire ever made, a million years old, quite cold. Along one wall, in shining cases, in little bright blue boxes, kept like jewels or dollhouse relics of animal saints, there lie remains of a fossil dormouse mandibles of a small extinct lizard, tiny china bones of a subspecies of pygmy hamster, and of a frog similar to today's, delicate bowed bones from the ear of an ancient hare, skull of a bat from abyss number three, tarso metatarsus of a small slender gull, teeth of a hedgehog, fragments of extremities, fossil hair.